Let, let him feel what you're doing. Just, just the arm. So he's really lifting you up, getting you up on your toes before he does the pivot. Really breaking your balance. Okay. You know, I'm trying to be as descriptive as possible whenever you're teaching anybody, even children. You know, you ha I teach a junior class, and sometimes I have to describe things in a different way to them. I describe things a different way that I would to Jordan or a fully sighted person. But Jordan um, has had a decreasing vision through the years. So she has an understanding of a lot of things already. And so um, sometimes I forget, though, that that's going away. And that's, you know, that's a new process. And so it's a matter of touching, of getting a grip, of feeling, uh, as well as communicating. Ideally, you want your partner to be leaning forward a little like this. So when you set it up and you do your kouichi, ouichi, they're usually start to step back to this way, and so that's when you'd swing in. So if you do your little counter, like if you're doing a dummy, you make them step back, they're already starting to lean forward. Yeah. So that's when you want to get up right all the way underneath. So okay. you're leaning forward as well. You just make sure they land first. Okay. So that you're fully committed to that throw. And judo is all about feeling. That's why it's so good for blind athletes. Whenever you learn your techniques, it's not about seeing where your partner's moving. It's about feeling where they move. And so that feeling tells you where to move your body. If they're going that way, you're, you're moving with them. You're moving this way. So it is all... Uh, uh, it's your sixth sense, your spider sense, if you like, that you're, you know, it helps you as you develop in your judo. Uh, no doubt, uh, seeing is definitely a lot easier, but um, being a blind judoka, you know, it's, it's obviously possible you can be an Olympian.